Now this is River Valley in District 10. Property Lim Brothers is bringing you to a very well renovated, beautifully designed two beta patio unit. So if you love entertaining, you love outdoor spaces, stay tuned as Property Lim Brothers brings you to check out this home. Let's go. Our unit is a two bed, two bath type of concrete. Fun -con Fun -con Fun -con 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 So we're here today in District 10 in the River Valley Zoning and we're bringing you to this very interesting two beta that's located on the ground level but actually this development is uh, elevated off the ground because on level 1 to 3 you have your car park spaces and right now we're actually here on level 4 Head on outside right over here from your living room you get this entire kind of entertainment zone where you can plant in all kinds of uh, different outdoor type of furniture so like what our homeowners have done is they have this very interesting kind of uh, lounging set over here in this circular fashion you also have have a very huge kind of like outdoor dining kind of area which can sit comfortably up to like eight or even ten packs right here and not only that if you follow me it actually wraps around your entire unit so this is almost like a mini landed kind of living because you get more outdoor spaces even in front of your bedrooms right here there's like two humongous armchairs you can just take a seat right here you know uh, enjoy the greenery not only that you also have entrances it's like a triple way entrance because this leads into your master bedroom and over at the back over here, you still have another entrance that leads into your common bedroom which is currently used as an entire walk-in wardrobe kind of space. So let's head on back in, uh, then we'll chat more. So coming back, this space is sized at 1485 square feet which is actually very generous for a two-bedder kind of patio space because I think it's actually very rare to find something like that in the River Valley zoning. And moving on, let's have a chat about where we're actually situated in. Where we're at is actually along this slip road off River Valley Road. This is actually Shanghai Road. And if you pull out the map, we are just right across from the Valley Point Shopping Centre. Now if you look along Shanghai Road, this actually is a cul-de-sac. So what that means is that only the residents who live technically within this few condo developments will be passing by this entire road itself. And why that is such a great thing is because you get to enjoy more serenity and as well as peacefulness because uh, you don't have the main kind of a River Valley Road traffic kind of traversing past your home while you're still within a minute's reach away to amenities. Now if you talk about accessibility wise, if you're traveling via public transportation, let's have a quick look. You have the upcoming Great World Station that is slated to complete in 2022 which takes you one stop to the north to Orchard MRT Station which is also the interchange station for the north-south line and in the other direction, two stops down, that takes you to Outram Park MRT which is the interchange station for the east-west line as well as the north-east line. If you're driving, you can enter the CTE in two different directions within just a five minutes drive away via Clemency Avenue or Havelock Road and which can also lead you on to the AYE and the PIE. To further add on to this location itself, you'll notice that this area that we're actually situated in is right on the side, the Naden Road, GCB area and Claves and on the other flip side, you're also within minutes away to the entire Orchard Road shopping belt. So that sums up the entire location here at the River Valley Zoning which I think is great because you have a good mix of all kinds of amenities uh, whether you're a family looking to live in this zone or whether you're maybe a young couple who have just gotten married and you're looking for your first home. I think this will be something very interesting to check out. So right now, pass the time over to Wen Pin who will share with you more about the project details. Before I show you more details of the unit, let me just briefly talk about the project itself. Studio 3 is a freehold development TOB in 2005. The single block stands 20 storey tall and compresses a total of 66 units. Out of this unit, 34 of them are 2 beds 2 bath kind of layout and the rest are all 1 bed and 1 bath type. And among all the 2 beders, only the 2 patio units at level 4 get to enjoy the exclusiveness from having such good sized outdoor area spanning across a single deck. And what makes our unit so special is that it is the only patio unit facing towards the quiet and greenery view and away from the swimming pool area. The good thing about being the patio unit at level 4 is that you are not only greeted by this serene background every single day and also this improves the natural lighting condition as well as the natural ventilation condition across the unit. The renovation of the unit has just been done one and a half years back with more than 120k be pumped into the unit itself. Over here, owner has put an 8-seater dining set and as you can see, there's still plenty of space for you to walk around. On top, owner has done up the trilies together with the ceiling fan. Over here, the owner has put a launch set together with some potted plant 
and you could definitely convert this area into an outdoor exercise corner or a beautiful breakfast spot. Our unit is a two bed, two bath kind of configuration with a total of 1,485 square feet which inclusive of 880 odd square feet indoor space plus 600 odd square feet outdoor space. Facing wise, the main door is southeast facing and the MCSD of the unit is about 500 per month. Now let's head to the living room and let me show you more about the interior of the house itself. Now comes to the interior of the house, as you can see, the renovation has been done up in a modern and contemporary kind of style. And over here, the homogeneous tile all the way throughout the whole unit, which brings the unit a very consistent and bright feeling. Over the common bathroom, we have one and every kind of laminate wooden doors over here with a black color hinges together with the dark gray tiles in used which suits the whole theme of the unit. Right inside, we have hand scroller hardware the shower head together with the rain shower and right over here we have our mirror cabinet and right at the bottom we have two drawer cabinet tray has been built now i'll pass to mark to talk about more about pricing analysis around this area Now just to name a few, if we have a look at the Cosmopolitan, which was TOP in 2008, the two bedrooms there sized at about 1,100 odd square feet uh, were transacted at about 2,300 odd per square foot, which puts its price quantum at close to about 2.72 million. At the Trillium, which TOP in 2010, the two bedrooms at about 1,400 square feet was transacted at about 2,200 odd per square foot, which puts it at about 3.1 million. And right beside us at Latitude, which TOP in 2010, the two bedrooms, which are sized at about 1,003 to 1,400 odd square feet were transacted at about 2,100 odd per square foot putting it at a price tag of about 2.87 million and at one of the older condominiums with a gigantic kind of a 3 beta size at Regency Park which TOP in 1987 the 3 beders there are sized at about 2,200 odd square feet which has a unit that transacted recently at about the 2,000 per square foot range putting it at a price tag of about 4.5 million now let's also have a look at some of the new launch kind of landscape within the CCR zoning because these are going to set the new kind of benchmark price within the area. Now at Jervois Mansion, which received a very roaring kind of uptake, it's about 99% sold right now as of uh, October 2021. The two bedders there are transacting at a PSF range of about 2,004 to 2,800 per square foot. At Leiden Green, two bedders sized at about 614 to 926 square feet. Transacted prices are about 2,005 to 2,800 per square foot. And one of the most interesting uh, launches in the Clark Key area at Canning Hill Pierce, this also received a very good uptake during its launched just a couple of weekends ago. The transacted pricing is about 2,800 to 3,000 per square foot for a 99 year leasehold. Now coming to our unit back here at Studio 3, I think this is a very generously sized type of two bedder at 1485 square feet. Our listed price now at about 2.68 million puts us at about 1,804 per square foot. And not only that, you also get that free hold status to enjoy. So I think this unit here really hits the PLB trifactor that we always talk about. Now let us continue with the home tour. Now, let's move to the master bedroom of the house. Over here, we have four panels, full height wardrobe cabinetry has been built. On the other side, owner currently put a queen size bed together with two big side table. You could definitely replace the queen size with a king size. Now let's move into the ensuite bathroom. Same as the common bathroom, the light grey textured tiles has been used to maintain the consistency of the design. And over here, we have total toilet bowl and hand scroller, the shower head together with the rain shower, and we have a sunken bath right over here. Even the LED is installed right at the showering area over here. Now, let me show you the common room which is currently being used as the working closet from the connected patio space right over here. Three panels of full height wardrobe cabinetry with some display, shelving, and also a dressing table has been built. And on the right, we have another four panels of full height cabinetry for you to store your clothes. And right at the center, currently the owner put a display piece. Now, if you want to convert it back into a proper bedroom, it could be done by just remove these three panels of wardrobe, replace it with a queen size bed together with a side table or even a study table right at the side of the room. 
only on the kitchen itself, 30k worth of renovation has been done. And right here, a one whole slab of Sansa granite countertop has been used for both the pan solar as well as this countertop area. This not only means that it is three times more costly, and most importantly, the materials being used and the workmanship is guaranteed can last you for a lifetime. Here we have some renovation ideas for you to consider about. If you don't really prefer an open concept kitchen like this, you could always choose to glass up the kitchen right from here all the way to the entrance of the yard. And you could choose to move the fridge to this area so that you could have more place for you to do up your countertop. Now once you seal up the place, this yard entrance over here, which is also connected to the outside and currently be used as a laundry spot, can provide you with a better ventilation. Now this unit has also been built future-proof. Over here, we have Samsung Digital Lock and the smart lighting system is also being installed throughout the whole house. And not only that, all the aircon units has also been connected to Wi-Fi. Now what does this mean to you is that you can always choose to control all the lights and aircon from your smartphone in your own convenience. <laughs> Let me show you what facilities we have within this project and also the amenities around this area. Facility-wise, we have 20 meter lap pool, pool deck, gymnasium with sauna, and also a barbecue area. Talk about the amenities around this area. For shopping malls, we have Valley Point shopping centers, which is just 300 meters away. We also have the Great World City Mall, which is also just about 500 meters away. Talk about the groceries, within Valley Point shopping center, we have cold storage as well as NTUC fair price. And if you are parents with young child looking for a school, you have the Rio Valley Primary School and also the Alexandra Primary School within the one kilometer range. We are come to the end of the home tour video. If you are a ground floor unit lover who is looking for a place within River Valley and Clave and trying to keep your price about 1,800 per square foot. Right, and you want to be near the MRT with the upcoming new Thompson East Coast Line Great World MRT Station as well as the Great World Mall and of course not forgetting Valley Point Mall as well. If you want to kind of have a physical look at this place, contact our listing manager. Their links are in the description down below. And if you enjoy home tours with Property Lane Brothers, do remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube. Right, we're also on Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. And if you want to understand more about market insights, head on to propertylimbrothers.com. Head on our insights tab. That's where you'll find curated articles by our editorial team as well. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this home tour with us here at Property Lim Brothers. My name is Mark. My name is Wumbi. Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. ...of the uni. Let me just run through the layout of the... Okay, please, sir. Well, let me read it. Now before I run through... Now before... Now, before I show you the patio of the unit, <laughs> One, two. now before I show you the patio space, let me just run through the, the layout of the unit first. <laughs>